All right, so let's take a close look at the Go Girl device. When you order your Go Girl, it comes in a cylindrical shaped tube. It's very lightweight, very compact, and TSA approved in case you plan on traveling with the Go Girl device. In the outer tube, there are some information about when can you use the Go Girl for sports, camping, or boating. Now, in the inside of the tube, there are three main pieces. The first one is the funnel or deurination device. This is the device that you are going to use. Very pretty color. Uh, it's 100% BPA free and it's made of 100% medical grade silicone. So it should be very safe for you to use. Now, the second piece is this plastic bag. This plastic bag is used to store the urination device. And it also has some information about how to use it. The instructions are provided in English, Spanish, and French. So just make sure that you are spending some time to read through and familiarize yourself with the device before using it. And the third piece is a paper tissue, but I've already used mine. So now let's talk about how to use the device. First of all, before you take it to your first adventure outside, make sure that you spend some time practicing at home for you to get more comfortable with how to use it. Now, if you look at the funnel, there is first of all a sign that says do not flush. Obviously, this is a device that can be reusable. So pretty much every time you use it, you clean it, put it back in the tube and you can use it as many times as you want. If you take a close look at the funnel here, there are two edges. One of them is higher than the other so the taller part or the taller side of the urination device is the one that's going to go to the back and then the shortened one is the one that's going to go in the front and in order for you to use it you're going to rely on using your middle finger and your thumb so you're going to place your thumb on the front side and then your middle finger on the back side when you place it in the back side, you want to make sure that you are applying a little bit of pressure just to make sure that you are avoiding any leakage. So if you look at the pictures here, this is the position that you want to be in and this is the one that you want to avoid. And if you follow these exact instructions, there won't be any leakage. Again, you just have to practice a couple of signs at home. Make sure that you have a successful experience before you take it outside. Now, when you use the device, you want to make sure that you rinse it off with some water and dry it with either a towel, a P-rag or some paper towel. Now, let's talk about how to store the urination device. The way that I like to do this is by folding the plastic bag in half and then putting the urination device in the middle and try to fold it as small as as compact as possible and then I would roll the plastic bag and use the sticker just to make sure that everything is secured and this way it's going to be easy enough to fit into the tube and I would just put it inside and close it and voila now just make sure when you get home if you are for example hiking outside that you do clean it one more time and dry it to ensure that there's no bacteria growing in there. This is a very intimate device. You're gonna be using it a couple of times, so just make sure that it's staying clean and dry. 